To detect the battery state and also the battery life can be really helpful. For example, if you want to do some important actions in your app like background updates and let's say the user doesn't have enough battery life anymore, then this can lead to issues if you have not enough battery life and if the phone is turning off. Secondly, you can also maximize the performance while the battery level is high. And while the battery level is low, then you reduce the performance of your app. And this can be especially good for games. So if you have a low battery life, you will automatically turn down your performance of the game. And thirdly, it might be also useful to test the battery consumption of your app before going live and deploying it to the app stores. If you are new here, subscribe to my channel and make sure to watch this video till the end. Let's get started by detecting the battery level of our phone. And after this, we also want to detect the battery state of our phone. First of all, we need to create an instance of the battery class. And I also create another field where we want to store our battery level. Then you go to your init state method and here you basically listen for the battery level. And therefore I simply create here this method update battery level and inside of it we simply call from the battery the battery level and this returns on an integer the percentage of our battery level. And lastly we simply override our battery level field here at the top and also wrap it here around with the set state to update our UI. With this implementation we get at one time the battery level of our phone. However we also want to update our battery level all the time depending on our current phone state. And therefore I also create here a timer and within our listen battery level method we want to create a new timer and every 10 seconds we want to execute some code. And what we want to execute here is basically this method update battery level and this will make sure that every 10 seconds our update battery level is called and then also our battery level is updated here within this field. Lastly, we also need to dispose our timer. Therefore, I simply create here a dispose method and then we call here the timer cancel method to clean everything up. And with this implementation, we get every time an updated version of our current battery level. And to make use of this battery, you also need to go to your pub spec jaml file and here you need to put this battery under your dependencies inside. And secondly, we also want to detect our battery state so we can detect if our phone is currently charging or if it is discharging. And we also can detect if our battery level is full. Therefore, we create a new method listen battery state within our init state method. And within this method, we basically call this battery on battery state changed. And here we can basically listen for the current battery state. And every time if the battery state changes, then this callback is here called. And now we can basically put this battery state inside of our field. And therefore, I have created here this field battery state where we always store our battery state inside. And you also need to wrap here your set state around to update your UI. And every time if you call the lesson method, you also need to store this inside of a subscription field. And therefore I add here this stream subscription. And at the end, you also need to cancel your subscription, what you do within the dispose method. And this canceling will make sure that we are not listening anymore to our battery state. And with this implementation, we basically get every time the state of our phone, if it is currently charging or if it is discharging. And the state is then going here inside of the battery state where you have this charging property and the discharging property. And at the end, we can also display our battery level and our battery state within our UI. Therefore, we want to access here this battery level and display it in our UI and also our battery state. And to display both of these things, you go to your build method and we start here by displaying our battery level. And here we basically put then the battery level of our current state inside. And now we simply create a method where we return here a text and inside of it, we simply display here our battery level with some percentage after it. And now you see here currently our battery level and because I'm here in the emulator, it says 100%. And now we simply want to display here depending on our battery state every time a different UI. And in case our battery state is full, then we want to display here first of all this icon and also the text full. 
And therefore I simply return here a column and I put here first of all this icon inside which has here this battery full icon and I also put the text inside of full. And this will look like this then. And secondly, we also create these other states. So we create the state charging. Here we also create a column and therefore we take here a different icon and the text charging. And we also create here the discharging and here we basically create a new column again. And here we put then this icon inside and also the text discharging. And with this we have completed here our UI and you can now see if your phone is charging, if it is discharging or if it is completely full. And by the way, if you want to get here this whole source code, you can get it with the first link in the description. And with the second link, you can get access to my Flutter courses, where I teach you how you can become a more efficient and better developer. Hello everyone, thank you so much for watching this video. Please make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel here to get the latest news about Flutter. And see you soon, bye!